Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, there's something about my family that you probably don't know. You see me here with Diane and uh, Emily and John, uh, and they're great. Well, you know. But I have three grown sons also. I have three grown sons that have families of their own. And what I'm about to tell you about is my second son, um, TJ. When TJ was born, he was uh, very sick. Uh, he was so sick that we had to transfer him from St. Mary's Hospital down to Hahnemann Hospital. Uh, his particular illness was a, a blood illness. It was a BUN level, a blood urea nitrogen level. And, and what that is, is um, urea is made in your liver and it has to be processed out in urine through your kidneys. In a, in a baby, the normal levels are between 4 and 6, and my son's levels were 66. Um, no matter how many times I tell the story, I get choked up. So the normal levels are four and six, and his levels were sixty-six. And basically, what happens is, if you can't process it out, you uh, your kidneys will shut down, it'll cause heart failure, and then ultimately it'll be death. Uh, so at Hyman Hospital for over two months' time. The doctors there were working on him, they did a great job as best they could, and they weren't really having very much success. And the, the doctor said to me, he said, listen, we've done pretty much all that we can do. It's time you start to prepare to get ready, to make arrangements for him. And uh, so what do you do with that bird? Right? So I called my mother. That's what I did. And I told my mom, the doctor told me to get ready to prepare. So she said, well, let's worry about that if we have to worry about that. We'll worry about that as it comes to us. And she said to me, can I go to the hospital and pray with your son? And I said, really, mom? And she said, yes, Timothy John. When she said Timothy John, I knew she was serious. <laughs> so I called the hospital, and the hospital said to me, they said, absolutely no problem. Please you know, have her come down. You know, they're helping me prepare. So my mother goes to the hospital the next night, and uh, I'm there, and she shows up, and they prepared a little room for her, and they brought in a rocking chair. Uh, three nurses brought my son to my mother. Uh, one nurse was holding him. The IVs in his head. Can't get his IV in a baby, so they put him in their heads. IV uh, drip machine and also a machine with some monitors on it. So three nurses bring him out. And they give my mother my son. I leave and she stays all night and prays. She prays with my son all night long, and the next morning there's a shift change with the nurses coming in. And these nurses are trying to take the baby from my mother. And she says, well, are you going to run the test? And I said, no, we don't have to run the test. We ran the test yesterday. And she says, well, you're not getting him until you run the test. So she won't give the baby back to the nurses. The nurses call the doctor. The doctor comes down to explain things to my mother. And after they had their little meeting of the minds, the doctor ran the test. And... Uh, the will of God, right? So they run the test and, and the result that came back, now after two months time in the hospital, they got that level to come down from 66 to 60. And overnight, with the power of prayer, my mother prayed for my son, the next morning the level was six. Can't explain it? I can explain it. The generosity of God gave me my son. So today I'm here to thank you all for becoming my church family, for teaching me generosity. Because all these years after God revealed himself to me so boldly and graciously, I've been ignoring him, rebelling against him, until I found you here.
through some of the things that Diane spoke about. Just introducing myself to Chosen 300, to the youth groups, to the people I care for my sister-in-law when she was in Silver Stream. Just automatically, no questions asked, people to show love, give prayers. That helped me awaken my spiritual life, my prayer family, is this family. And I just wanted to say thank you for your generosity, for helping me find mine. Thank you.